Nutrition and Feeding of Family Poultry The Semi-Intensive System In semi-intensive family poultry production systems, most nutrient intake comes from home-mixed feed with the inclusion of concentrates or from commercial balanced feed. The birds are confined for part of the day and scavenge in the backyard for the remainder, where they are safe from predators. The scavenged feed includes insects, worms and grass. These provide some nutrients and reduce the cost of feeding. Semi-intensive poultry production uses genetically improved and locally adapted exotic breeds. The birds are provided with a full complement of disease prevention and control. Keeping birds in semi-intensive systems requires good information about commercial feeds. The right type of feed must be purchased for the different stages of growth, development and production. Use of commercial feed is more expensive but can be profitable if products from family poultry are sold at higher market prices than those of commercial strains of broilers and spent layers. Producers using semi-intensive systems should be located in villages with good road access or in peri-urban areas. The system must also be flexible enough to respond to local conditions. It must incorporate into the feed the most cost-effective grains, agricultural by-products, homestead leftovers and vitamin-mineral premix or individual sources of vitamins or minerals. The feed resources available to birds under the semi-intensive and intensive production systems differ significantly. These differences determine how the different feed resources are utilised and how they impact on productivity and profitability. For example, in the semi-intensive system, balanced feed is only available to birds at certain periods of the day. Concentrates or basal feeds are provided at different times of the day in tandem with periods of confinement or non-confinement, respectively. Because birds are expected to meet some of their feed and nutrient requirements during non-confinement, they are not expected to produce at the same level as birds under intensive production systems. Regular daily access to the yard in most cases supplies nutrients such as phytic phosphorus, vitamin D, sources of protein from insects and worms, and fibre from grass. The birds also receive sunshine, fresh air and exercise, which promote good metabolism of nutrients in the compounded feed. Compounded feed can comprise a greater variety in nutrient levels than the fully intensive system. It provides 50 to 70% of the adult bird's nutrient requirement with smaller amounts of nutrients provided by the exercise yard. In addition to the scavengeable feed harvest from the yard, the feed supply of adult birds with compounded feed has to be adjusted according to the needs of pullets, laying hens, cockerels or cocks. Young chicks are kept in confinement and should not be allowed out with adult birds. The chicks should receive complete feed. Cool, clean water should be provided in drinkers within the coop accessible to birds even during their periods in the yard. Chicks should have access to drinking water at all times. Many farmers who use the semi-intensive systems in remote rural areas find commercially manufactured feed too costly and its supply irregular. In such situations, semi-intensive poultry producers can feed an extended compound that is marketed by local feed millers. These extended feeds come with a lower nutrient density. They are balanced for all nutrients, but are lower in energy because of the inclusion of low-energy ingredients, such as rice or wheat bran. Where no such compounded extended feed is available, commercial feed dilution or extension is another feeding possibility. This approach may take many forms. The use of lower nutrient density commercial feeds, such as grower feed for laying hens or broiler finisher, the diluting of commercial feed with basal feedstuffs, or skipper day feeding, 
where the recommended commercial feed type is used but not provided every day. Balancing the feed supply is vital for optimum production under the semi-intensive system. As the feed resources available in the yard are not expected to supply more than 30% of the nutrient requirements for production, feeding of poultry depends on the availability of compounded feed. This presentation about the semi-intensive system is part three of a four-part series on the nutrition and feeding of family poultry.